Hello, my name is Risot Igao, and I'm going to present my articles research entitled An Exploratory Fact Analysis to Measure Self Efficacy in Instrumental and Vocal Among University British Students. And this research uh, is paper is this is um, shared with uh, my colleagues, Dr. Ian Stephen Baxter. For the introductions, there has been increase in research academic achievement in recent years, and but the little research has been done in field of music, in particular in musical performance achievement in advanced music students, and this is according to the Mac Pearson and Mac in nineteen ninety nine. And the issues of academic achievement Institute of Higher Learning Music students also have been discussed by lecturers in the surrounding the communities. And as we know in, in music programs that instrumental vocal performance is one of the important subjects in the music course at universities. And music students spend a lot of time to improving instrumental skills of to learn the scale called sapedius etudes and repertoires and etc. But however, there's little time is allocated to increase their self-confidence. And according to Smith, 1979, student and lecturers really focus on the importance of self-efficacy perception of students' abilities. And mastery of musical instrument skills requires extensive and quality training and is often influenced by individual of self-efficacy and I'm going to explain about uh, briefly about the self-efficacy. A self-efficacy is a construct established by Bandura uh, through the social cognitive theories and according to the Bandura's theory that self-efficacy uh, refers to individual belief and confidence in his or her ability to coordinate and execute a series of actions necessary to achieve a desired goal. This is according to Bandura's 1997s. And according to Bandura also that there were four main sources of self-efficacy, which is where first one is mastery experience, vicarious experience, and the third one verbal or social oppositions, and the last one is psychological states. And each of these sources contribute to the development of the self-efficacy contract. And the self-efficacy theory is applied in a lot of field, for example, in in educations, in in a lot of uh, fields, and including in music. And there is several studies that have been done on self-efficacy in music achievement and performance. Eh? For example, Zilan at 2010 studied development and validation of self-efficacy scales in music performance and the participants consist of 293 and from the Middle School of Music Performance in South Eastern United States. And he developed the musical performance self-efficacy scales instrument based on Bandu studies by Banduras and the participant will give their opinion of self-efficacy in their music performance um, based on that I mentioned just now, the four, four self-efficacy dimensions. And the result shows that they were internally consistent and indicated strong relationship between the source and the composite construct. And CFA shows, which is confirmatory fact analysis, provided evidence of good fit between the data and Bandura's models. And the finding has contributed to the bodies of knowledge. And another studies by McCormick and McPherson 2003 studied the role of self-efficacy in musical performance examinations. And the studies focus on aspect of musical learning graded music examination in relation to self-efficacy. And the, the result shows that the ongoing practice plays a vital part in development of musicians' capacity to perform well. And uh, 
the results also show that self-efficacy was the best predi predictor of actual performance and it is, should not be considered in isolation from the motivation and related variables. And the, but from the previous studies just now that emphasize the development and validation of self-efficacy scales um, performance by Z studies by Zeland at 2010s. And the present studies will apply the studies in 2010 in a different context setting, particularly in Malaysia. So the purpose of this study was to explore, validate, and develop the music performance of self-efficacies among university music students. So the methodologies of these studies were um, 100 respondents undergraduate active and alumni music students um, involved in these pilot studies. And they were from University of Malaysia Sabah, UMS, and University of Malaysia Sarawak, UMS, and also University of Technology Mara, which is UITM. And the instrument of these studies use um, as I as the author mentioned just now, it uses the music performance self-efficacy scales, MPSE as adapted from Zelena 2010. And this um, instrument was validated by the expert and have gone through the process of back-to-back -back translations, which is English, Malay, and English. <coughs> and this questionnaire consists of two sections, sections A, which is demographic information, which is consists of age, gender, ethnicity, type of music program, year study, and major instruments. Whereas the section B is uh, the five point decade scale ranging from one five to one, which is five strongly agree, four agree, three not sure, two disagree, one strongly disagree, and the total of these items in these instruments are 24 items. And the analysis method that been used in this study is using the SPSS version 24 and also it is used to analyze the questionnaire and the type of the analysis of uh, being used in this study is number one is using the descriptive statistic, number two KMO and Bedlet taste, script plot, total variance explained, rotated components, and Chromba Alpha. And data collection method that been used in these studies. Okay, um, the author distributed the questionnaire via email um, and media socials uh, due of um, MCO COVID-19 um, pandemic COVID-19 and the questionnaire was written in Google form and that questionnaire a clear explanation to the respondents before filing the questionnaires Email and contact number of the author are also included for any inquiries. So the result of this study was descriptive statistic. <clears throat> that all of the descriptive statistics, huh? uh, number one is ranging of mean. The ranging of mean is 3.6 between 3.6 until 4.2 and then the ranging of the standard deviation is 0.62 until um, 1 and the script plot as we can see here it is um, 4 that, that represent the 4 dimensions of subcategories and KMO and Bethlet taste um, shows that P is significant, which is according to Awang, it must be small 0 0.05. And the value of the 
KMO or Casey Okin value is uh, more than 0 0.7 which is 0 0.8 so the value is accepted whereas the total variant explained of the result uh, was 61% where uh, it is accepted then the, re the minimum requirement 60% this is according to Awang, 2012. And rotated component matrix shows that the results show four components remain as the original one component. However, two items were deleted due to the low factor loading, which is the items deleted were SEM41 and SES58, whereas the factor loading must uh, more than 0 0.6 this is according to Yahya 2018 so the value of the chrome alpha here um, all is um, exceeds 0.7 which is it is the value is it's 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 accepted and discussion and recommendation of this paper this article huh? This research contributes to the field of academic achievement in music learning, particularly in the instrument of self-efficacy towards instrumental and vocal performance. And the questionnaire or the instruments able to measure the level of self-efficacy of music student instrumental and vocal performance among music students at the universities. And academicians and researchers can use this instrument and apply it to different areas of music research. Previous studies have focused mainly on respondents from secondary schools. This study was widened to music students pub, uh, at public university in Malaysia setting. So the conclusion of this study was, the present study contributed to the self-efficacy literature by identifying the dimension that contribute to the high self-efficacy among music students in Institute of Higher Learning in Malaysia. And the EFA result from this study have found that the ad adapted instrument for self-efficacy is consistent and stable across the sample. So thank you, that's it for my presentations.